So it's been a thorn in many a Linux user's side, including myself, that there just aren't as many games available for Linux as there are for Windows. Uh, now, with thanks to uh, digital distribution platforms such as Steam and GOG, along with many, many others, that is improving, and it's improving at a rate of knots really quickly, and uh, and that's pretty damn fantastic. But what about the stuff we grew up with, the older stuff, the retro stuff? I mean, we grew up with many games that were really just made for Windows. How can we enjoy those on Linux? Well, many of you are probably going to retort by saying, Wine. Wine is an... Well, Wine is not an emulator, first of all, and the, uh, the the developers of that kind of want to make that clear. It's actually a compatibility layer which makes Windows games compatible on Linux-based operating systems. Wine is an absolute powerhouse of an application, and it is something of a godsend to Linux users. That being said, though, it is one heck of a beast to train. And, yeah, you'll probably end up pulling your hair out just trying to get games working. But there is light at the end of that particular tunnel. Wine is getting better and better with every release, and it's getting pretty good now. Okay, so the game you're seeing up there now is a game called Wolfenstein HD, which is a remake, of course, of Wolfenstein 3D. I say remake in inverted commas because... It does take quite a lot of artistic license, but that's part of the fun. It was developed as part of a competition among developers just to see what they could develop in, I think it's 72 hours, and unsurprisingly, most of these efforts were only available on the Windows platform. I mean, if you're making a game within the confines of a time frame, you're probably only gonna have the time to compile for one particular platform. That being said, it was a lot of fun to play, and I played it using Wine. More specifically, I played it using an application called Play on Linux, which utilizes the power of Wine, but introduces a degree of user-friendliness, which I think is a, a very big addition to the entire Wine experience. Okay, so the idea behind Play on Linux is that it's an application that gives you pre-configured scripts that have been tested and work on games running under Wine. So the idea is that the Play on Linux application will install the game for you with those correct settings and then in theory you can just hop in and play whatever Windows game it supports. The library of games that are supported under Play on Linux is increasing and users can um, add and contribute their own scripts as well, making it a pretty open platform in the spirit of uh, Wine and Linux in general. One of the interesting things about Play on Linux is that it has a separate installation of Wine for every game that you bring into your game's library, which means you can configure that particular installation of Wine for that game, not having to worry about whether or not it would affect other games installed. And that's that makes life just a little bit easier as well. And also you're able to look up a list of games that are allegedly supported on Linux through Play on Linux before you go ahead and buy them. Certain games in the library are designed to be installed using particular methods, i.e. the CD-ROM of the game or uh, games purchased on things like GOG or Steam. So um, it does take into account the actual version and the method of distribution of the game when it comes into installing it as well. That being said, I still would be a little bit weary about forking out for a AAA title if the only platform I had to run it on was a Linux operating system. But when it comes to the hundreds of games available at ridiculously low prices through GOG and Steam sales, sometimes I think it's worth taking a shot. And I've got to admit, the program actually works pretty well. Now, there is a little bit of a caveat though. I have noticed that there is a significant problem when running games under either Wine or Play on Linux that DRM can often be the reason behind a lot of games not working, which is why when looking to run uh, Windows versions of games on Linux, I would tend to opt for buying my Windows game on GOG games rather than Steam. I've had a lot of trouble getting the Steam games to work, but pretty much no trouble whatsoever getting the GOG games to work. So that's worth bearing in mind, and anyway, that's my own personal experience. And the thing about Wine and the thing about playing Windows games on Linux is that everyone's experiences are different, and everyone has different levels of expertise and experience in this particular field. Okay, so now I would like to hear from you. Below this video, of course, is a comment section, and I would like you to utilize that comment section to share your experiences with playing games on Linux through Wine and even running Windows applications. Does it work particularly easy for you? Have you learned the tricks of the trade? Is there any tricks of the trade you would like to share with us when it comes to actually getting these applications to work? Or is it just a huge nightmare for you that just is something that you 
don't want anything to do with. Okay, so that's my time. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to check out gamingonlinux.com. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.